Hello, in this video, we will use Google Sheet Linus function to perform the power series regression analysis of this data set. Power series regression is in the form of, or power series equation is in the form of y equals b0 times x to the power b1. And the linear form will be ln y equals ln b0 plus b1 ln x. And this can be converted to the matrix form. We have the first matrix as 1 plus ln x. And the second matrix will be ln b0 plus b1 because we factored out the coefficients from this expression. So we start with the equation so using the scatter chart. And customize the series showing the trend line as label. The trend line will be power series and our equation as the label. So our equation is 5 point, data y equals 5.26 times x to the power 0 0.736. We show the value of r squared equals 0 0.858. We will use the Linus equation to derive these values. So we set this aside. First, we begin with the conversion of our data y, this expression, to the linear form. So we start with the, the y values, which is our a formula, ln of the y values. Next, we determine the 1 plus ln x matrix. So we start with the 1 column. And then the ln x column, this is a formula. Ln of the x values. Now that it's linear form, we can now use the Linus function, which is Linus of Ln y or the the values of y and the value of Ln x, and show the full statistics. So here we have the value where our slope 1 is 0.736, B1 is 0.736, which is also 0.736. And B, B0 is, well, this is uh, ln B0. So we calculate the B value B0, which is exponent of this 5.261, which matches to our equation. Now that we have calculated this, we can start using the its own function, like slope. We can calculate B1 using the slope function from the linear transformation. Uh, where you have the Y values, the X values as well. And matches to our Linus output. And here we have the intercept because from the linear trans transformation and ln x 1.66 which is which matches to our linus output next our r squared this is equal to r s cube of the y values or ln y values and the ln x values 0.857 which matches to our, which is rounded off as 0.858 in our equation, but matches to our Linus output. Stay x will be stay x of the ln y values and the ln x values. Now that we have these values, dft will be equal to rows. So, so the number of rows, which is rows, or the population called rows of the data set range, and you have nine degree of freedom of numerator because you have only one independent value, we have only one x value, so it's one. And our de degree of freedom of denominator will be rows minus columns of the data set range. You have seven. Now we can calculate 
the regression sum of square, which is equal to RS cube times N, the number of rows, times variance of population, L and Y. 1.856 matches to our Linus output. Next, we calculate for the re residual sum of square, which is DFD, degrees of freedom of denominator times stay x squared to the power 2. And this matches to our Linus output. Then we calculate for the F statistic, which is equal to regression sum of squares divided by DFN or degree freedom of numerator divided by stay x squared, which is stay x to the power 2. 42.205 matches to our Linus output. Next, we calculate for the standard error values of the coefficients. We begin with the Pijarina inverse, which is minverse, mmult, transpose of the 1x matrix and itself. Now we can calculate for the standard error value of the coefficient b0, which is equal to stay x times square root of p jarina red. 0.172 matches to our Linus output. Then we calculate for the standard error value of b1, coefficient b1, which is stay x times square root of p jarina blue. This completes the power series regression analysis using the Google Sheet Linus 